Hi, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. And this is a coffee and chat uh, about me, about some of the things that have been going on and about the channel itself. And um, so if you're new uh, and have had a lot of new subscribers, if you're new, I welcome you. If you're just looking for spiritual things, um, then this may not be the type of video for you. So, um, but have a wee listen and see what you think. Um, because sometimes I'll say, well, oh, I, I don't know why people like the coffee and chat. And so many people get back and say, oh, no, we love it. We love it. Keep doing it. Um, sometimes with the coffee and chat, I will pass on some spiritual things. But it's, it's normally not like a full tutorial uh, video in any way. So um, this is the first coffee and chat of the new year, 2018, I believe. I don't think I've done one in about four weeks. And the reason for that is um, uh, bugs and uh, colds and coughs and whatever. Now, I know I'm not the only one that's suffering at the moment. There seems to be, uh, there's been about 40% more uh, coughs, colds, flu bugs in Scotland since uh, about November time. And a lot of my friends are suffering. And the one that's been going around um, is it's caught people for three, four, five weeks at a time. So um, that's why uh, the weekly tarot card was late this week. Uh, I just, no matter what I did, I could not um, face getting in front of the camera. And um, oh, excuse me, I, this thing keeps telling me there's a, a scheduled scan. Remind me in four hours, postpone. <laughs> Ah, where have you gone? Ah, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just thought if I didn't do something on screen there, then oh, this video and the whole computer would go down. So anyway, so I was still a wee bit breathless with it, to be honest. And um, I've been like Rudolph. And actually took a rash um, and had like spots on my arms and down my chest and stuff. So um, just not been a great time. Now, I was lucky, and I will bear this in mind for the future, I had a few videos um, built up, so nobody really noticed until maybe yesterday that uh, I hadn't posted because I'd done a few in advance um, of me getting ill or being really ill. So um, my heart goes out to those of you who have had bugs or have not been feeling well. Uh, and sometimes we just have to realise that we have to rest, that no matter how much you want to push through it, there's sometimes you just can't. And normally you'll find that people do understand. And that's what I've learned um, whenever I've been ill and I've had to move things around. Oh, there's a few of you waiting on... Um, gifts of crystal prescriptions to be sent out that for, were from giveaways etc they are coming um so probably get posted out by the end of the week uh, you know all the crystals are ready and charging up but um just haven't really been out and uh, it's meant to be snow here for the next week so but you will get them i have not forgotten about you okay and i hope you understand um, so, uh, oh yes, I've got quite a few things I want to say to you, uh, because, <laughs> um, I've not been able to sleep a lot, even though I've been ill, uh, so that's given me a lot of meditation and thinking time, and there's been a lot of thoughts coming out, but before I do that, I'd like to welcome, uh, we seem to have quite new subscribers from Pakistan, so welcome Pakistan. Uh, you're more than welcome and please comment and uh, join in. Now, we just noticed last week I had a spike of um, new subscribers and when I looked where they were from, it seemed to be Pakistan. So I don't know what's happened there, uh, but anybody's welcome and please join in. Right, so, um, yeah, so time off. Um, hello, Pakistan, bugs and illness. Um, yeah. Um, we we all had a nice new year and all oh, gorgeous solstice and Christmas. They were amazing. I don't know if I've I've been on saying it, but uh, solstice was amazing with my spiritual family, and um, it was lovely. We're getting to the stage that the younger women now are all taking over most of the tasks, so um, the grandmothers get to sit back and enjoy ourselves. Um, and Christmas itself was lovely. 
uh, New Year just quiet for Gemini because normally by the time New Year comes and Hogmanay and Scotland's going daft with celebrations, we normally had solstice, family visiting, Christmas and uh, we're just ready for watching the telly and giving one another a big hug and, and that's about it. Uh, so that, that was really nice this year though, really, really gentle, which was lovely. I wasn't well, so there was no point in trying to do anything at all. Um, but I'm very, very lucky with um, my husband and that they we're both in sync and, you know, he's quite happy to go along with how I'm feeling and he never pushes me in any way or he, he never has expectations. It's just how my illness is doing, how I'm coping with it on the day and therefore what we do or don't do. And for the last sort of uh, three weeks it's been don't do rather than do. So I'm glad to be back behind the camera and um, I will, there's so many things that um, I want to show you. Um, for solstice, I don't know if you know, we've all got a healing rose on this channel and um, it's in a video, it's a five minute meditation uh, just with music that was made by my lovely friend John Doyle for the rose itself. So that in itself, looking at the rose, with that that magical music is so healing um and I, it's it's wonderful i just love it for that but what we tend to do is also use it to put people's names under and to have a healing list for and um to cut a long story short um i put the names under on facebook and alison my friend helps me with it on there and also on here and there's a lot of other healers add their energy um but I don't know, um, sometimes I'm not at the screen uh, and if I am, I, I'd maybe empower the rose for two or three minutes or whatever. Now, um, what came out of that in a way was one of my most beautiful gifts um, for solstice this year came from my wee sis Suze and she had made me this, now made me it, and it's a replica of our blue rose for the channel. How gorgeous is that? To make it, goodness, uh, some folk are so talented, I'll tell you. So what I've been doing is when I've not been able to get to the computer, and I do get a lot of people on my phone saying, can you add this person to the healing list? Or someone's passed, can you pray for their journey? Or someone needs um, your help and healing, can you do that? Um, I tend to write a list down and then add it to the rows. But because I've been off my feet and not at the computer a lot, I started using this rose um, as really just a, not a substitute, but a, a very physical connection to the virtual rose. And um, it's it's absolutely worked. Um, when I'm holding the rose and putting healing into it, and saying the names of the people that need help or the people that have passed that maybe need prayers for their journey, all those sort of things. I'm more than happy to receive uh, comments under the rose or comments even under this um, because then I pass the names on and the healers get involved. But I do have a healing session myself where um, I very much focus and work with my guides and work with my goddess. Um, and having this blue rose, it's exactly the same colour. Um, it's stunning. I love it. I love it, love it, love it to bits. Uh, so I've been working with this and then realising that the virtual rose is still charging. So we have a virtual rose, but we now also have it physically as well. And I just think this is one of the nicest presents I've ever received. So thank you, Suze. And um, know that if you find it difficult at some time, uh, maybe to focus on the virtual ro rose, send your thoughts, prayers and healings to this one. It sits on my altar. Uh, I just can't get away with it. In fact, I want one for my hair. <laughs> no, this this is a very special healing rose and um, I just adore it. So that's what I've been working with healing when I couldn't get to the 
onto the computer, excuse me. Uh, the other thing was when I was um, couldn't sleep, I had to lie flat. Ah, because on top of everything else, one of my leg ulcers began to break down. I think my whole immune system, you know I've got an autoimmune disease, my, I don't have a great immune system. Um, and I think with everything going on with the cold and, and cough and infection, um, other things just weren't getting attention. So I had to lie flat and stop this ulcer breaking down. So while I was doing that, I was beginning to feel a wee bit like trying my meditations, but not feeling almost like me enough to do them. It was odd. I was trying to focus. I, trying to, you know, say my grandmother wins of the earth name and, and focus. I could do it fine with the rose, but for the things I wanted to think about and meditate on myself, it was it was getting harder. So, again, uh, thanks to We Sis Suze, I was gifted this beautiful um, mandala by Suze last year. Now, I'll link a video to it where I'm interviewing her down below. Um, it's called All Ye Alba is her company and she makes these beautiful mandalas. People th in seeing the video have said they thought they're about that size, but they're not, they're the size of my face. Um, now, um, everything you need to know is in that video, but for me, when I was finding it hard to ground myself in myself, holding my own mandala that has the sense of the medicine wheel, my earth sign, my um, animal totem, and also, my grandmother wins of the name Earth uh, in, in runic writing. When I was lying down, um, I could look at this and merge right into it. And when I closed my eyes, I sat it on my chest. And just having that solid reminder of all the energy I've put into it, uh, and that whole, this is my skin name, this is my song, put into a physical platter as such, a mandala. Um, and believe me, it just, it kept me on track. It, it helped me when I was like getting fed up with the illness and fed up with the colds and flus and like, oh, am I ever going to get better enough to do the magic that I want to do, to do the recordings I want to do? And I know with the illness, I'm never going to get back to the level, I'm never going to get back to doing the readings and stuff like that. That that just is a way off now. But um, the grandmother energy is important to me. The teaching through YouTube, uh, my books, all these things are important. And I was beginning to, you know that way when you've had a bug or something for weeks and you're honestly, you're not seeing the end, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, well, that's the way I was. And I, I got my mandala and I, I just I just worked with it and it really, really helped. So um, I think it's the most beautiful thing. So um, I'll put a link to the video and to Suze's website uh, so you can find out more. It's like, you know, sometimes the sense of yourself can be a wee bit untangible. You know, it's like, I'm this, I'm that. I can do this, I can do that. Having the main aspects of yourself, your skin song, actually physically on a piece of wood. It's just there's something very reassuring, something very comforting about it. And um, I absolutely love it. So that's been a help. And uh, again, two of the most beautiful pieces, um, both made by my wee sisters. So, um, I'm a lucky lady. Um, so that was that. Uh, and I will remember to put the link if I don't, someone remind me. Right, so <coughs> next couple of weeks, um, if I continue to get a wee bit better, I'm going to be trying to set up live streams. Now, I'm not going to set one up and get you all on and then muddle it up and not know what's happening. So over the next couple of weeks, I may pop up in the screen trying to sort the code from there to there and get things going. Um, this isn't for anything other than a test or a few tests. Now, if you do see me though, please come uh, and say hello because the whole point of the live stream is I'm here and the questions, you're there and oh, someone's come on, somebody's typing a question and I read it. So if nobody comes and says hello, I'll be kind of 
talking to myself for the two minutes and then going off and that's fine too but it would be nice if there were a few people just said hello so that I can test, that I can reply to them. Uh, there's also a wee thing called Super Chat that allows people to donate one or two dollars or pounds or whatever if you're enjoying the um, the live chat. Again, it will be interesting to see if someone's on and they can use that for me. So for the next couple of weeks I might be popping up but I'm not popping up to have a, a real old time. It would more just be like... Uh, is this working? Can you help me see how this works? So, uh, and then when I've done a few tests, we'll be on. Uh, that is, I'm so looking forward to that. What are going to be in the live streams? Um, I don't know. Uh, basically, we might have a theme sometimes, but other times it might just be, I'm on who wants to ask a few questions and you can just type them in and I'll read them and if I feel I can answer them then I'll go ahead and it won't be reading things like it won't be like oh my boyfriend's going when's he coming back nothing like that it'll be like you know um can you explain how you see your spirit guide or blah 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 or I had a question or this dream that happened can you explain it's going to be very um just malleable it will go the way it wants to go uh, and believe it or not I'm, I'm used to in my younger years I was just to a lot of live television um, and I, I really enjoyed it I mean a lot of people don't like it because so many things can go wrong but I always think some of the things that go wrong um, when you're live are hilarious and they give you stories for later on in your life um, it's just I mean, I have some stories, and some of them I've forgotten to put in the first memoirs, so there's definitely a lot about the media and a lot that happened when we've been on live. I did, I think, two, two and a half years of um, astrology for Lanarkshire TV and then Cecil TV, and it was it was good stuff. But, um, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not scared of being live in any way. Um, in fact, I think it can be very, it can bring you so much closer to the people that are watching. And it gives me my feedback there and then as well. Uh, anybody not nice will be blocked, but thank goodness so far we've um, we've not got nasty people or, I've had a few tro trogs, trolls, what's a trog? <laughs> Sorry, don't know where that came from. Um, I've had a few trolls, but um, I just don't let them through. I don't actually let you see what they say because I know that half of you would be so upset, so, so upset. Um, and it would get you angry and it would release a lot of negative stuff. So I just actually cancel it and block them um, because, you know, with me, it's like water off a duck's back, you know. I've been my face out there in the media for about 20 years. I've had people come up to me in the street and say, oh, you're a fraud or what you do is the work of the devil or whatever. Been there, done that, got the T-shirt. So uh, now I, if we get trolls, uh, not trogs, um, I just, I just bl blot, gone not interested uh so yeah the live streams will be good so if you do see me um just say oh hello and i'll be like i'm just practicing and then we'll see what comes of that and it may also be a way of um people that want to donate to the channel doing it as well while maybe getting something out of it that, for themselves so that's that's uh, i'm really looking forward to that uh the other thing is a lot of people have been actually saying um getting really 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 good um reviews for my book um memoirs of a clairvoyant and uh thank you for that uh they are lovely they they just make me feel great but a couple of people have said that they um wish that they could hear me read the book uh -huh. That's interesting, because I know a lot of um, people in the States seem to like the Scottish accent, um, which is lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, but they're saying, you know, we'd like you to read the book. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe try a couple of um, readings from the book, um, just maybe some excerpts. See how they do, and if I feel they're okay, um, one of my daughters suggested podcasts, where, you know, literally it's not a video, um, 
that you could be listening to it. Now, there's a wee bit different equipment for podcasts, etc. And I'd need to school myself in it. And But I think my daughter, my daughter's the one that suggested YouTube. So um, she thinks podcasts would be a great thing. Because, you know, when, when she's out about stuff, she's got her earphones in and she's listening to podcasts and music. So the podcast could be a way of getting over information or, you know, talking to people and you, you have it for when you're not wanting to sit in front of a screen uh, and it was quite interesting in that because sometimes um you know it's like i just want to speak rather than be on camera um and that's just probably because um to be honest i look like a ghost without my lipstick on and a wee bit of mascara i look dire there's there's no other word for it um and you know as i'm getting older my skin's becoming i've got pale scottish celtic skin and it's becoming almost (laughs) see-through and um very very delicate and and um honestly if if I popped up on screen with uh, with the way I look when I first got up in the morning, um, those of you that like anime will know when I say I look like no face. I honestly look like no face. And if you um, don't know what no face is, Google the image of uh, no face anime, and uh, yeah, you'll see me in the morning. <laughs> and it's true. It's absolutely true. So anyway, uh, so there'll be if the voice kind of stuff goes well um plus it's a good way of letting people see what's hear what's in my books um if i do it on video and stuff the only thing is i feel is um i'm not very uh, not a great reader um i can talk but when i have to read it i'm not brilliant at that um but it'll either work or it won't uh but i, I like the idea of podcasts so if you like the idea of podcasts uh, then Give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. So, live screams, podcasts, reading excerpts from books, illnesses, hello Pakistan and Blue Rose. And the, yeah, I think I've done it all. This probably is, oh, it's not too long. It's only about 24 minutes. Um, and Nelly's just fallen asleep, which is great. Um, oh, oh, shouldn't have said her name. So, uh, that's that's me got to kind of mid-January and I've made my first recording and I've done the weekly tarot card and uh, surely it's all onward and upward from now on. It's so many things I want to do uh, and also I, I have uh, I plans to get another book out by September, October, maybe a wee bit earlier. just depends on the length of it. It's a, it's a wisdom book and uh, yeah, uh, I've got about seven, eight thousand words of it done. Um, but it needs to be about 50, 55, so we'll see. Um, but this year, hopefully, there's not going to be anything massive. Last last year with the, my daughter's wedding, it took up so much of the year before and after, and it was wonderful. Um, but this year, touch wood, uh, looks calmer at the moment, and uh, that would that would be nice. Um, so I hope you've uh, not got the bug and. Um, I hope that you're excited about 2018 as well, excuse me, and um, I hope that spiritually we can walk forth together uh, through 2018, learning from one another, communicating with one another, um, being our best selves for one another, and just generally having fun and laughter and joy because you know what you don't need to be doer to be spiritual you can have lots of love and laughter and enjoyment and puns and little jokes and you know um i'm reading a book by eddie azard at the moment uh, and his autobiography and um, a lot of the stuff he he does reminds me of me a wee bit but um I've always loved Eddie Azard as a comedian 
uh, the whole thing about the book though is that he writes the way that he performs on the stage. It's literally like hearing him the way he goes back and loops and tells a joke three pages on that he's already started. Um, why am I talking about Eddie Izzard? Yeah, it's just um, what I'm getting from his autobiography is um, such strength, such strength. Um, run all those marathons, 27 marathons in 27 days. Um, and if he could have, I'm sure he would have done it in high heels. Um, just watching what he's been through in his life and the outlook. I mean, he's atheist, he doesn't believe in God or a God. Um, and but he's, he's so I think he's, he's so optimistic. And so he really believes in the human race and humanity. And I, I, I believe that too. I mean, you think of the things that are going on just now. There's some horrific people out there and horrific governments and horrific things going on in the world. But still in the base of my heart, I believe that there's more good than bad. And if you can hold on to that, then you can move into the year ahead with such a lot of optimism and potential joy um, because I think that the good things will always, always win over the bad even if it takes time and anyway, I'm blethering again and uh, so comment below uh, on anything I've said and uh, yeah, I'm, I've got so much coming up uh, that I've had <laughs> so much time to think of things because I've been stuck in my bed uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the year ahead and uh, I hope you are too. And if I don't go off now, I'll keep talking and talking and I'll lose my voice and um, I love you all and um, be excited, be excited. Even if you're ill just now, know that you'll bottom out of it and come back up, you will. And um, just... Just be excited, because life's for living, you know. Um, lost a few friends last year. They didn't get the chance to live and enjoy as long as maybe we thought they would. So it's time to make the most of every minute we've got and just get out there and enjoy it and be optimistic. Believe me, life's better when you're optimistic than being pessimistic. And, um, yeah, so... Look out for me online, give me a wee, a wee hello or how are you managing the live stream uh, sort of thing and I'll be very, very uh, excited to actually get that up and running. Still haven't learned how to um, edit. I've been saying I'll do that for a year, haven't I? But as I say, it's one of these things. Got to pace myself, got to do what I can, when I can. And uh, that's the way that we'll... We'll keep going this year. So many blessings. Um, love you and leave you. Bye now.